Glam girls, it's one o'clock on a Tuesday. I love one o'clock on a Tuesday. I actually love Tuesdays now because I've got this whole uh, thing that I do on Mondays. I do my grocery shopping. And um, when I finish the shopping, that is when I have the shower of a lifetime. I just scrub my hair like crazy. It's fantastic. And uh, then I've got like good hair for Tuesday. I put a little makeup on. I feel great. I feel like a human being. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in and giving me a reason to, you know, spruce things up a little. I hope you're doing the same. I hope everybody has at least one day a week where they can, you know, feel pretty and feel good. And uh, just because we're at home doesn't mean we can't be feeling fabulous at, at some point. So I'm so excited today because I have a very special guest for you who you have seen in the mornings on CH Morning Live. And she brings so much joy and happiness to uh, the community. You're going to love meeting Annette Hong today. And I'm so excited because I actually get to interview Annette. She's interviewed me for over a decade and now it's my turn. So that's pretty cool. Um, I wanted to let you guys know again that it is Virtual Treat Yourself Tuesday. And if you are interested in shopping the showroom on our website, you'll see a big banner that says Shop the Showroom. We have some beautiful Swarovski crystal pieces there and they are 25% off. And if you do need these pieces, if you live locally and you need pieces for Mother's Day, um, I am going to be doing a lot of deliveries over the next couple of days. So um, you can reach out to me and let me know what is considered local because I'm going a little bit of a further stretch before Mother's Day and uh, more than happy to deliver for you. So without further ado, let's bring on Annette. Hello! Here she is! <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Isn't this cool? This is very cool. <laughs> the only thing room. that's weird, <laughs> it's it's like everything's backwards. I don't know if you notice that. So sometimes I'll adjust my necklace. I think I'm going this way, but yes. I'm going that way. Or... The other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. So, and then... I thank you so much for today. I mean, you've been up since what time this morning? 2.30. 2.30. So it's probably time to have a little nap right about now. Right after this. <laughs> right after this. <laughs> I got my key. I'm all good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. So you've been doing the TV thing since 1986. Is that right? Uh, or... Working at the station since 1986. Yeah. Wow, that's great. And so tell me, like, let's back it right up because I want to know, was this your dream growing up as a young girl or nope. did you fall into it or what happened? I, I really fell into it. I So I grew up on a farm and um, and I so appreciate that background of, of hard work and, and getting your, your hands dirty and everything else yeah. dirty. Um, and, and I just remember a promise I made to myself when I was like a teenager and I was like, Oh, I was filthy dirty. And I'm like, all I want is a job where I can work in an office and dress, dress up every day. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't at all think that that what it was going to be. I thought it was going to be, I don't know, whatever office job. And then, and then I just kind of happened to flip open a Mohawk college book and I'm like, Oh, broadcast journalism. That, that looks interesting. And oh, that's, that's, wow. That's amazing. And you didn't think you'd be uh, in an office environment getting up at two 30 in the morning and no. <laughs> that wasn't on the list. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> wow. So what's the what's the first job that you had at CH? Like where did you start? Um, I worked so I worked there when I was still going to Mohawk in my okay. I think it was right after my first semester at Mohawk. And I yeah. was um this is in the olden days when everything didn't come in. We had to actually we had a set time in the afternoon when our news feeds would come in from like NBC and from across Canada and somebody okay. had to actually hit a record button 
and and you know and capture those images and that was me i hit the record button and and then we'd let the producers know oh this came over and this came over and this is how long this piece is and this is what it's about and and that kind of thing and then i i was a writer on the on the weekends as well oh fantastic so that really like laid the groundwork for what you're doing today because i have to tell you when i come in for an interview with you you've got people talking in your ear yes you've all, you've emailed me about okay what are we talking about today so you're preparing that the day before then you've got to sit at the desk with bob and do your broadcast like I, you must have a photographic memory like i your days well, I have are short-term memory so stuff like stuff i have to know Stay, yeah. and then afterwards it's like it's off to mars wow like, i don't even That's like i remember the interviews that i did this morning but it's like now i'm focused on tomorrow morning's interviews so right so you're you are really good at compartmentalizing this stuff like you, you, you know what you really the... have to be and everything for our show it because you you've seen kind of what happens backstage everything mm -hmm. is uh compartmentalized into like half hours so we go, okay, okay. Here's, here's what's happening in six o'clock, half hour. Here's what's happening at 6.30, seven, on and on. Right, okay. So what was your first day on TV? Like, oh my God, you must've been. Oh, it was, so when was you know that? What? It, was, what? It, um, what year? it was in the late eighties cause it was kind of by accident. There right. was, and it was a really tragic story. There was a, a fire um, a house fire next to where my apartment was at the time. And, and I thought, because the call came from like my side of the street, I actually mm -hmm. thought my house was on fire. Like our, our oh. apartment was on fire kind of thing. So oh. I got sent there with a camera person and then, and then it turned out, no, no, the house fire was across the street kind of thing. And then it was like, well, you're there, <laughs> work with the cameraman and, and, let, and then, yeah. So that wow. was, before. yeah, I'm still looking okay. for it in our archives. We have a great guy who goes through and, and is archiving all our stuff for the Hamilton Public Library and for us, and he's still looking for it. <laughs> oh, let me know. I would love to share that. That would be great. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to see it, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So so when you were in that situation, were you, like, had you had any media training prior to know oh, how yeah, to talk like, to the I, camera? I, I, yeah, okay, I did at school you had that. At, at school, and okay. we always had to do. We had to learn how to do all of the jobs. We had to learn how to shoot oh. and and how to edit and how to write and how to present on camera. So it was just like, and it was it was like stuff was happening so fast. I didn't even get a chance to kind of like think about what am I doing, you know. So I, oh. there was no chance to be nervous. It was just like, here's what's happening, and just do the job. Yeah, that's great. And Annette, I think like one of the things that's so unique about Morning Live is how you guys really focus on good news stories that are happening in the community. You're big on promoting right. yeah. local entrepreneurs. I mean, what they what you've given me over the years is like I can't even put a price tag on that. It's it's, it's just it's been so phenomenal. Cool to watch your business grow because I think the first time it's the first time you were on, were you still working in your corporate job and just kind of yeah. doing this as a side gig, right? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those were my first few interviews with you. And it, and it was always, I mean, and it's still, obviously now we've hit a whole other comfort level, but from the first time I met you, I just felt like I was talking to my friend, you know, oh, like you're, and I thought, you're really I good. <laughs> yeah, no, but you're so good at putting people at ease and um and I've I've referred some business women I know to you yeah. and they if they haven't done TV before that's what I tell them I said don't even think about being on TV you're standing there talking to your friend Annette like that's it well, <laughs> that's and that's it's so easy of our setup too right is is that it's it's a very intimate setting although it's it's weird now doing all the Skype interviews because I'm like yeah you know that person and I want to chat with that person afterwards right because we would have our, our chats in the hallway or whatever or when you're in the makeup room and and you can't do that right now so it's it's kind of yeah. like you it's like the guest is there but they're they're distant yeah you don't get the warm-up right yeah it's and I'm of... really looking forward to like having guests back in studio again 
Yeah, for sure. And how's it been at the studio, like with all of this that's going on? I know you for a while you had guests in, you had a whole social distancing thing yeah. you were doing with them there. But now I guess guests are not coming in anymore. Right? Yeah, everything, every, everything is, everything is Skype? Skype now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So everything is Skype yeah. now. And then even even us in our office, we're, we're separated quite a ways. So there's a, an empty desk um, when we're back at our like office office, not on the desk at uh, in the okay. studio. But uh, yeah, we're separated there. Everything gets cleaned because we share some surfaces. So everything gets cleaned in between. And, and our, our, um, like our, our station's been awesome for like making sure we've got everything that we need. We have masks if we need them. And mm -hmm. it's taking great precautions. Oh, that's fantastic. Good. And I, one of the things I love, I feel like I'm on the inside of CH is I was there once when you guys had your chip day. So every other week on Thursday, these guys have chip day. <laughs> How's that's chip day? We can't all eat out of the same bag anymore, right? <laughs> that's exactly no. it. And it's, so our chip day is every payday, but it's, it's like chip day is an even bigger thing. It's like, oh yeah, we get paid too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that kind of started um, kind of by accident with our producer, Don, and with, with Tim Bowling, because they're huge chip fans. And mm -hmm. so we would try different bags of chips. And then it was like, oh, to celebrate payday, let's have one bag of chips. And then, you know, we would all and then it got it got to a standard of like three bags. And then we'd all take turns bringing in like our big selection or our favorite chips or chips we thought people would like. And, uh, and then once this whole pandemic thing started, it was actually, it was really cool. It was our HR um, director who left huge, huge bags of indiv individual chip bags on our desks okay. and, and said, okay, I want you to enjoy chip day because oh. I know that it's important, but <laughs> socially responsible chips. <laughs> so, oh, that's, that's so funny. Doing. Yeah. That's great. And what's your favorite flavor of chips? Which My favorite you go flavor? For? is there's an Aunt Vicky's and it's smoked, is it smoked chili, smoked barbecue chili or something like that. And dill oh, pickle Doritos. Dill pickle Doritos? They're awesome. Okay, have you seen what Doritos just came out with? They have uh, one, a Wonder Woman Doritos <laughs> collection. <laughs> so there's like Woman. three different... <laughs> There's three different flavors, and then Wonder Woman is on. We have to show Don, the show producer. Yeah. But God love you guys. So every time I'm on uh, CH, <laughs> Don plays the Wonder Woman soundtrack. Yeah, Remember the first time he did it, you were like, "What? What is this? What's going on?" Because you could hear it in your ear, and I didn't. I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm like, why are they playing this? <laughs> yeah. What the heck's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. Comic geeks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so great. So, Annette, over the years, I would imagine that you've you are um, a huge contributor to what's happening in the show and and who's coming on and you know just the whole feel good vibe. I feel like yeah, a lot of that must come contribute. from. So we all have yeah. we have meetings after the show to decide like you know who's who's going to do what the next day but also like we're and and we're very lucky that way um because you hear some shows where it's like you know okay somebody sets the idea of who we're going to interview and everything and and that's what you do but we have the freedom to you know I I want to talk about this or I want to do that. Kind of thing so yeah we can book a lot of our own guests and i've i've made so many great friends like yourself through the show so yeah awesome. well you know what i i've done tv in other places <laughs> and, and um i ha <laughs> and i have to say like you guys it's so magical there like i remember the first time i still remember the first time i went and i was so nervous and i'm like getting ready for the power tripping and everything right and there's none of that it's like hey and then you guys have the audacity to thank me for my time and the value i brought to oh. your show like what the heck is that our show you wouldn't be anything saying? without our guests yeah but no i don't think there's any other show than yours who actually <laughs> <laughs> you know, make, you really make people feel special. So, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I love it. See, I think the best. It's we're all we're all. I know it's so cliche, right? It's like, oh, we're all a family, but we do. We and and we kind of commiserate with each other because we all come in at a you know 
uh, what does what does Tim call it? the crack of stupid? We call it yes, the crack of stupid. stupid. Yes, so it's like <laughs> uh, you can't be tired because when we come in, there's already been somebody there for like two and a half hours already, and and so it's like oh, I can't feel bad that I had to get up early because they had to get up even yeah. earlier. So yeah, oh, exactly. That's so great. So so during this, like your lifestyle, probably, I mean things have changed since COVID started, but how, what's the big change for you and that like, you're not at the station as long maybe now or? No, no. Um, we're actually at the or... station. Bob and I uh, spell each other off every other day. So every other okay. day we're doing the live news conferences um, from the prime minister. So we'll stay like a little bit longer every other day. And, but then the big difference for me is what happens after work, because I'm used to, like, I, I teach part time at the YWCA Hamilton. So yeah. that, you know, the gym is closed. So that's gone. And then I'm on a number of committees and boards and, and all those meetings now, you know, I, and I have events normally at night, but I don't. So I just come home and I'm, I'm home and I, I kind of, I've kind of gotten spoiled by it. I kind of really like being home. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, for sure. I, I like it too. I got to tell you, like, I, I don't miss the, I realize how crazy the running around was before. Yeah. Like, and it needs I to be kind of, when this is all over, I'm like, what mm -hmm. am I not going to do anymore? Mm -hmm. well, what's not going to be as important anymore? Yes, exactly. So I'd love to chat about the YWC. That's actually on my list. Oh, so tell us about your history because that's pretty impressive stuff there. Um, so I've just I have been a member there. Oh, I think more than thirty years, and and it's just like it's because it's such a um a comforting place to go because they really support women. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a women's only gym and, and it's really, it's really like everybody goes there. So you see women of all ages and all abilities, all not trying to, you know, change the way their bodies look, but all just becoming healthier. And, right. and there's so much, there's so much power that comes from that. So, so I have great trainers there, um, great instructors. And, and one of them asked me once if, because she was teaching the classes to become a uh, fitness group, uh, group fitness leaders, okay. I, if I would be interested in doing that. And I'm like, mm, okay. <laughs> so I did wow. so I went through and got my certification and yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's great. So you would do that like right after uh, CH, I guess, yeah. like, you yeah. do, and then you go and teach a class. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's so funny because for a while I was teaching, uh, I was teaching at different um, because the Y has this great fit at work program where you go, instructors go into other workplaces and teach classes there. And it mm -hmm. was so funny because I would go in and people would, you know, my first few classes, people would like, what is she doing here? You know, it's, are things not bad? <laughs> She's just like, no, 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 I love to do this. <laughs> this is my passion project. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Wow. Yeah. I When we get back to it, I'll have to come to one of your classes. I'll make the drive yeah. out there. Get me yeah. on a guest pass. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, the awards ceremony with the YWCA. Oops. Oh. Can you, uh, yeah, yeah. I was so. This is before I started working there. I yeah. was honored to be one of their women of distinction. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. And that, so, and now since then, since you were a uh, woman of distinction, you've been uh, emceeing that event, correct? D did you uh, sometimes? Yep. Sometimes you do it. Okay. Yeah, because there's a, yeah. like I can't do every event every year sometimes because it seems yeah. like there's an event season. <laughs> it's like I can't be out till 10 o'clock at night, every night of the week. Yeah. Like, yeah. how do you manage that when that? It, I can do that, it like every once be... in a while. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's the next day, right? It's like, oh, because right. <laughs> having yeah, killer. You know, three or four hours of sleep isn't, isn't good. Yeah, for sure. And do you continue that on, on over the weekend, Annette? Like your schedule on the weekend, are you still like going to bed at probably 8.30, right? Or no. your Friday no. night is like well, no, Friday night. I'll I'll have like and I I'm really lucky that I can nap 
during the afternoon. Um, mm -hmm. So Friday night, I'll, I'll stay up and my body will tell me automatically when it's about 10 o'clock. I just feel this like I've hit this wall. And, and then I look at, yeah. my, at my watch and I'm like, oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Saturdays, <laughs> I can stay up a little bit later. And then Sundays, it's it's you know, trying to train myself to get back into, okay, I've got to go to bed really early tonight because I have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, good. That's great. Yeah. 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 I I can imagine. I can't, well, I can't imagine what that's like to get up at two 30 every morning. You know I mean, what? I know it's not as bad as everybody thinks. I remember, yeah. I remember once working with somebody who worked in radio and had to get up. I think they had to get up at four and I thought, that is inhumane. And now I'm like, oh, four. <laughs> I'm not sleeping in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get that four. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> so I'm trying, you know what I was trying to think of today too is how you and I connected originally. Because the first time I was on CH uh, was actually live on location with Lori DeAngelis oh, back then. Okay. okay. Yeah, and then I came on the station. Okay. And and I and I'm trying to remember if you were already wearing glam jewels then, or if you no, were wearing you it after we you. met. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You was my addiction. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. And Annette, like, okay. So I have to, there was one time, and I've told you this story before. I was uh, traveling, you know, visiting boutiques and I had gone all the way to Montreal and I was like, I just got to boot it back home. I don't want to stay overnight anywhere. And I think it was like two in the morning when you were on, probably at work already. I'm coming home and I see this billboard all lit up and it's you and Bob. Uh -huh. And you're wearing glam jewels like your whole neck is just covered. And I was like, oh, oh, my God, I love her. And I pulled over. I got out of the car. I was like taking all these pictures of the billboard. And oh, so great. <laughs> I, it was one of my proudest moments, I have to say. Well, I, I'm always impressed when I when a guest, uh, this is when like guests came back in the, in the studio and they will again soon. Yeah. Um, but when guests come in, like I can spot one of your pieces right away. Right. And I'm like, Oh, glam jewels. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> like, <of course. laughs> it's like the they recognize. Yeah, exactly. The glam jewels sisterhood. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh no, you've been great. And you've come to so many of our events too, which is so wonderful. And we have like our glam jewels girls, they love you. And there was one time you came and I gave a few ladies the heads up and we have a beautiful group shot of you with a bunch of women. And they were like so happy to see you and meet you. And so it's really great. <laughs> My husband yeah. is here wondering what's going on. Oh. <laughs> we're doing a Facebook you're, live. Yeah, you're on fake TV. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how good your video is. Yeah. <laughs> IT control. Oh, he's IT. That's <laughs> yeah. perfect. We all need an IT guy. <laughs> I really need one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm sure you're enjoying time with your cats. Yes. So you I, have two cats, right? Yeah. And I am so disappointed that they, because they were in the living room and I'm actually sitting in one of their chairs. I'm surprised that they're oh. in the <laughs> bugging me. But yeah. Oh, oh, here comes one now. Oh, yes. Let's, let's meet okay. one of the cats. Because the heat is on. Oh, it's the fun. heat is on. This so this is Betty. Betty. Oh, Betty. Where'd she go? Where? Oh, is Betty named after a certain Betty or? Uh, yeah. So Betty and her sister Judy. So we adopted them both yeah. at the same. Oh, and here is Judy. Judy. Aw. Here's Judy. Judy. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right. So they're sisters, and we got them a little bit before Christmas. And so they're the sisters from White Christmas. Oh, Betty that's so nice. Yeah. You know who I thought it was? I thought it was Betty from the Archies and Judy Jetson. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. It's no. Betty and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Uh, and you guys, where you live, you're like out, of, you have nice walking trails and that around mm -hmm. you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. So you're getting lots of fresh air right now. 
Yeah. What about uh, how's the how are the meals at home going and all that stuff? I don't know about you, but I'm making like the other night. I was like, I'm gonna roast a chicken, make stuffing yeah. like on I'm a Tuesday. Stuff that, and, and yeah. I think too, because I've got time to do it now. Yeah. So it's like yeah, like I don't like to cook, but I'm learning to like to cook. That's. Are you a baker? Do you like to yes. bake? Or? Yeah, I'm more of a baker. Oh, okay, you're yeah. more a baker. Okay, I tried to make. Um, I'm not a baker, and I tried to make some uh, low fat cinnamon buns. It was a Weight Watcher recipe. That's the so problem. basically, that don't was the. That. Yeah, it was like Greek yogurt <laughs> with flour and baking powder. Anyway. And uh, so Wayne ate them, but he was calling them hockey pucks, like Cinepuck pucks. <laughs> <laughs> they were not good. <laughs> so he can make the next round. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And how about like exercise and stuff? Are you are you um, doing anything like because the Y is closed? Are you doing any yeah, like you know virtual what? stuff really or? I really realize how much I miss the equipment there. And, and then even like I've got, I borrowed some free weights from friends and I've been doing some video stuff and I've been walking. I try to do something every day, but then there, mm -hmm. there are just days when it's like, you know what? No, I don't want to do anything. And, and that's where I think the, the kind of the mental health care, if, you know, if I really don't want to do anything, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, <laughs> for I, sure. I do like to be active because I, I find that I just, I sleep better. I feel better. I eat better then. But, but there mm -hmm. are days when it's like, yeah, I'm just going to read all day. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I think that's so important because I don't know about you, but I realize now that everything's slowed down, how hard I am on myself, like how it's like a constant voice. Like you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to get to this. You got to like all that fast paced stuff yeah, yeah. and you're right. Like, and then, and, and then it's kind of like when there's nothing to do and I'm like, well, I could go for a walk or I could just sit here and watch this show or read a book. Like you said, like to manage that not feeling guilty, like, yeah. It's okay. We don't have to conquer the world yeah. right now. Like, come on. Yeah, because I remember when, when this all started, it was just like, oh, here's all the things that you can do. And I'm looking at it going, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna, you yeah. know, because I'm I'm very fortunate, right? That I I work half of my day and then I'm I'm home for the rest of the day. I I think things would be different if I were home all the time or if I were working from home, maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, I'm, you know, I I see stuff around the house that needs to be done, and I'm like. Nobody's coming over. So it doesn't yeah, exactly. Ex yeah, that's right. You know what? I've started a new thing with that because uh, I keep now the thing that's happening at our house. I do come to the studio as well, but yeah. um, we start little projects and then there's like messes everywhere. And actually, if you came to my studio, you'd think the Tasmanian devil came through. Like I look around and it looks like 45 people work in here and it's just me <laughs> making piles of whatever. But it, but it's like, so then I'm thinking, okay, I can't feel this overwhelmed. So I've got this thing in my head where every day I'm going to do one thing that takes 10 minutes. So even today, I thought, you know, that like under the sink area, there's all kinds of crap in there. I pulled it all out this morning, chucked a bunch of stuff, gave everything a good wipe down, put and everything back in. in 10 minutes? And I did it in 10 minutes. Wow. It's a very small area, but it was like, yeah, that felt good. Like yeah. that's something I look at every day that irritates me. Yeah. And, you know? So I, I, did see, I did see a good list on, on, I think it was on Facebook um, a few yeah. weeks ago. And, and I thought, oh, that's, that's kind of a good one. So it's, it was like, take time for yourself, do something for yourself, clean one thing. And I'm like, okay, the dishwasher. <laughs> That'll be, you know, I cleaned out the dishwasher. And some days that's what it is. Other days I'm like, yeah. if I feel like cleaning, then that, cause I do, I like to clean. So mm -hmm. if I feel like it, I'll do it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, cleaning, it's very therapeutic. Like, very. you can work out a lot of stuff, right? Yeah. And it's good exercise. So that yep. counts as a workout, plus yeah. you get your cleaning done. Get your steps in. And I also like, I like weeding the garden. So I find that as well oh. very, very therapeutic. Yeah. Well, growing up on a farm, too, you must be so connected to the earth and I being am. outside. I really, and yeah, I really, really like to get my hands dirty. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. And I love the picture that you sent me to use for our chat today. Like, 
and that you said that, you know, I want, I want you to use a picture that's really me. And it's just like, it's so perfect. You're out there, you're on the boat, you got Hamilton behind you. Oh no, that's not Hamilton. Mm. That's Germany. Oh, it's, that was on a Germany. Crew. Yeah. I don't, I what can't the remember. heck? Why did I think it was Hamilton? Is it along no. the Rhine? Like in yeah, the... it's on the Rhine. It's on the Rhine. Oh. And so that was, yeah, that was a, a really cool river cruise that we took. And I just, I, I, just, I don't know. I just, I'm like, okay, that's, that's me on vacation. That's in my, I'm in my happy oh my God. vacation. Okay. I need to go back and look at the full shot of that. Cause that might be in Cologne where my family's from. You know what? There is like an industrial, like I kind think, of. I think that that's where it is. Okay. Yeah. Fine. That's great. So when all this is over, where's your next trip going to be? What's your dream place to um, see next? So we have, well, actually next week we're supposed to be going on vacation. That got canceled. We were going to go to California with friends. So that got oh. canceled long ago. Um, yeah. We're still holding out to go to Disney in October, but I, ooh, I don't know yeah. if that's going to happen or not. Um, I think the next, we, I think the next cruise that we'll take, we're taking another transatlantic, which is, which is fun because it's, it's something we're not really beach people. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. like to like hanging out at a resort for a week to me just kind of makes me stir crazy. Yeah. So I like, I like to see things. I like to do things. Um, and we, we have done a couple of transatlantic cruises, which are really, really affordable. And, and you get to see all these places, but then you're also stuck on a boat in the middle of the ocean, which I thought I wouldn't enjoy, but I love it. Cause it's like, oh, nobody, wow. nobody can get a hold of you. <laughs> now, well, oh. after going through this, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 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 wow, that's great. And then Annette, you're quite the daredevil. Uh -huh. Like I yeah. watch you like you've didn't you bungee off the CN Tower a couple of years no, ago? No, I haven't I haven't I haven't done the CN Tower walk, although that's on my list. Uh but I went off the um the Stelco Tower. So not oh, bungee, okay. but um rappel down. So that was fun. And I've done skydiving and I snowmobile and and I learned to swim in my 40s, which was a huge fear factor. Thing really? For yeah, I was terrified of the water. Good for you. Oh my God, that's major. Yeah. Oh, it was well, major. Like like swim instructor. Let me tell you. <laughs> What's that? It was major for my swim instructor. Oh my. I took private lessons at the Y at my, uh, my swim instructor, Janine. It was, she was so awesome. She's, she's a friend now too. And she's, I had these half hour sessions and, and, you know, I was so afraid to do anything. Right. And she's like, you know, if you're not going to jump in, it's, you're still paying for the half hour. So just do whatever you want. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. So what, <laughs> how did it go? Like, so you couldn't swim at all? Like, no, no. And I was terrified of the water and wow. I took swimming. Oh, my parents put me in so many swimming lessons, trials as a kid. And I just yeah. couldn't do it. Right. I get near the water and I just start to panic. And, and then wow. we were going on vacation. I'm like, well, this is like such a waste where, you know, can't use the pool or, or whatever. And right. Good for you. Oh my God. Cause it, that's fascinating to me, especially because I mean, I would never repel off the side of a building. Like See, that wasn't nearly as scary as it's going in the deep yeah. Why? <laughs> God. We all you know have what always scares, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I, uh, I, I was a big swimmer growing up, but I remember the one thing that scared the crap out of me. I was a strong enough swimmer that I could have been on the swim team, but I could not wrap my head around the somersault at the, you know how you go do a length oh, yeah, and you I have can't. to do a somersault and to go back again. Yeah, and I'm like, it. no, yeah, that's <laughs> loss like, of control. I'm, I'm going to drown. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I could save myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so great. I'm so impressed. So would you go like swimming in the ocean now or in the lake or, or pools kind of your oh, thing? It's still kind of my thing because I'm like in the ocean, I, you know, undercurrents, I've been caught in an undercurrent before, before I could swim. Yeah. And that was terrifying. Yeah. 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 You need to I'm go like somewhere more, where it's like a lagoon or something like just clear where I can see the bottom. Yeah. I'm yeah. a fussy swimmer that way. <laughs> yeah. And snorkeling would be fun. 
Uh, that. <laughs> yeah. Not sure about the creatures. Well, we did. No, that, that would be all right. We did do a, a really cool thing. Um, we were on a cruise, and it was in the in the Virgin Islands, where we it, it was a scuba tank thing that you went on these little scooters. So you had okay. to get down, get into this big tuba, and it, it looked like you know a man from Atlantis big helmet thing on. You had to get into that. And then they took you along in groups on these little motorized scooters going through the water. It was, it was lots of fun. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You're quite, I love it. You're always off on an adventure and your husband is the same, I guess, yeah. right? Like yeah. you guys are good together with the traveling. And, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. So what's happening on CH tomorrow? Are you allowed to tell us or um, secret? Well, <laughs> I said I was focused on it, and now so we continue with our mayor interviews. And I'm trying to think yeah. of who we have coming in tomorrow because we've the mayors have been oh. great because they've um, all the mayors from like around the Golden Horseshoe they all want to come in every week and by Skype. And oh, good. It, it's interesting getting a different perspective from each city on on how they're handling the pandemic. Right. So yeah. Was. So I was listening yesterday. Um, Ford was saying that he's having a conference call, I guess, on Thursday with uh, different mayors from cottage country. Cottage country, yeah. To see how that's going to go. But that's a tough one, too. Like, I get both sides. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's hard. Uh, Wayne and I were talking about that and and going to the cottage. And it's like, you know, I said I would feel responsible to not stop or go anywhere like yeah i would just i would want us to like fill up a gas tank so we had gas to get us home that we didn't go and use their stations up there that we had the food that we needed you know but it's just so much like and then how do you handle swimming or people going out on their boats or mm -hmm. yeah it, it, there's a lot to consider right so these guys don't have it easy that's for sure they're big decisions to make when none of us have ever experienced this yeah it's just when you think of all the local yeah. economies that rely on cottagers coming in right yeah exactly like the tourism and yeah it's crazy so mm -hmm. we'll see but hopefully i think ontario I think our numbers were pretty good yesterday, right? And yeah, and they dropped. Yeah, so, yeah, they dropped today again. Yeah, good. So that's good. The curve will be flattened, and let's hope we'll have our normal <laughs> life back soon. I hope. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what what have you got planned for the weekend, Annette? What is a uh, weekend nothing. like? <laughs> nothing. I know. There's nothing planned for the. It's like last weekend. <laughs> so we, you know what. Last yeah. week was our wedding anniversary, and it was really, it was oh. really weird because it was like, oh, last year we were in France. <laughs> oh my god! And did you guys do like takeout or anything? Are you doing that? Well, or not we, so we made we made supper. We had a we had a nice day. We did a puzzle. Yeah. That's what we're oh, fun now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's great. Puzzles, games, all that stuff is good. Yep. We we actually went for a cruise to the Hammer on the weekend. Oh. Yeah, we just drove along the mountain and uh, we listened to 90s music from when we were first dating and we were laughing our heads off. And so that was kind of fun. And uh, but we did see people getting tickets, which was sad, like just walking through, you know, where the trails are and stuff, because mm -hmm. I guess they have it blocked off. But it's some of that yellow off, tape yeah. has come down. And yeah, there were police officers giving out tickets. So. Yeah, you just have to be so careful. There's, um, I go to Good Life near my house, and there are some women uh, that have asked me, "Do you want to come and do like a socially distance workout?" You know, in the parking lot, in the area there. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I don't think I should. Like, yeah. I just feel kind of uneasy about that. But yeah. at some point, we have to trust that people are responsible, right? But yeah, it's just scary times. Like, yeah, but we, yeah, we work through it. And stay we're positive with what we have right we've got food we've got shelter we've got water we've you know and exactly and, and electricity so it's yeah it's not war it's just no. sit yeah and wait and let's just get through it yeah 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 but i'm so impressed it's so great that ch is still doing you guys are still are you there you've frozen up oh there we go 
sometimes we freeze up. I'm yeah. Like, well, it's, ask questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can ask me questions all day. <laughs> freeze it up. Yeah. But no, I think it's amazing that you guys are, you know, you're doing your thing, you're Skyping, you're, it's good. The yeah, show our, must our, go on. Well, our tech crew is, has been amazing because we couldn't do like, we just sit there and talk to people. Right. And, and they're like behind the scenes, getting everything set for us and making sure everybody's ready and everything's good to go. So it's, we're very lucky that way. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Annette, I'm so grateful to you that you gave us all this time today. We've got lots of people watching, lots of people saying hi, Annette. Um, Crystal from Bloomus. You've talked oh, to Crystal yeah. before. Yes, Crystal. Yeah, she's a good friend of mine. Uh, and then Nancy McMillan. I don't know if you've ever heard of her. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I know her. I Vaguely know familiar. Her. She actually wants to know what are you reading lately? By oh, the way, nice. Right now. Oh, yeah. I'm it's, reading a great piece. It's actually right here in front of me. Um, here, let me get it for you. Yeah. And she said, by the way, nice ring. Do you know what that means? Oh, oh, because we share the ring. It's uh, it's our women of distinction wing, ring. Of course. She has one too. Yeah. Nice. So <laughs> this is like a book club. Here's what I'm reading right now. I don't know if you can see it. So it's The Last Train oh. to London. It's a piece of historic fiction. On, oh, great. Uh, it's about a, a Dutch woman who um, who took children out of Nazi um, Austria, occupied Austria, and and sent them on to other homes. Oh, that's great. Do yeah. you do you prefer to read fiction? Um, I read a mix of everything. Like I love yeah. reading, so I've always got a book on the go. I, I can't read. I'm not one of those mm. people that can read more than one book at a time. But um, yeah, yeah, I love reading. Oh, that's great. That's so good. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Reading is wonderful. It's a good escape, right? We can it is. Go it is. travel to other. You know what I pulled out? Um, did you read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe when you were a kid? Did you read all those C.S. Lewis a kid, books? But I've read, I've read them more recently. Yeah. Yeah. I have them all beside my bed. My problem is this stupid thing. Where is it? The phone. Yes. I'm always on it, like every my, all my communication is social media, and uh, I need to put that thing away, turn it well, off, that's, and just that's what dive I into a book. I I put my phone when I like when I go to sleep. I don't have my phone as my alarm or anything like that. It's in a separate room, charging, and and I don't. I'm very I'm very good that way with it. Yeah, good. Yeah, I know because it really can take over, like it. Oh, yeah, yeah because I'll, a... I'll think, oh, I'm going to go check my calendar and, and something. And then all of a sudden, it's like half an hour later. And I'm like, well, where did that time go? I didn't have that time. Yeah, to <laughs> yeah it's so true. And it goes like that. It's yeah. not even like normal time. Um, are you watching anything on Netflix? It's exciting that we should be checking out. Um, actually, or, uh, um, anything? Weekend we binge watched on, I think it was on Amazon. We binge watched a show called Upload which was really good. Oh my God. Okay, that's my it? show. I did it too. What's I haven't got to the end right? yet though. Oh my God, I love it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, love, I love the clothes in that show. Oh. <laughs> Who's, who is the main character? The um, Nora. Yeah. I love her outfits. When she's okay. in the cool world, I'm like, oh, yeah. I would still love that jacket. Yeah, she is gorgeous. And you want to know something crazy about her? So uh, Wayne Googled her just to see like where what other stuff has she been in? She played guitar for Prince. She toured with Prince. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Okay, I better make sure I do a fact check that I didn't dream that. Sometimes <laughs> I tell Wayne something. He's like, did that actually happen or did you dream it? I'm like, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a great show, though. And the fact that yeah. it's like half hour segments, right? It's, it's, yeah. like, oh, it's, it's easy to watch. I really, really oh, like it. Oh, so I really like it too. So, did you see the whole, you done now? You watched yeah. the whole well, we entire did it thing? In like a day and a half. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we're going to finish it on the weekend. Right now, I am uh, I have to do beating at home, so I don't want to miss a second. Like, if I'm going to watch something, I want to really, like, that show I really want to watch. So we also, uh, we watch Mark Maron's show. It's just called Maron. Do you know him? No. He's, he's a comedian, and uh, he has a podcast, and it's called WTF, which is okay. what it means. And uh, he face. interviews, <laughs> what the face, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Modern Family, why the face? Yeah, why the face? Yeah, <laughs> that's good. I said what the face, but why the face? <laughs> right, okay. So anyway, it's so great. And so he interviews different celebrities, but he doesn't really, like he'll talk about whatever their latest movie and stuff, but he gets more into, he'll be like, so what were your parents like? Is your dad a screw up or what? Like, you know, and like, how did your parents screw you up? Cause he's trying to work out his own issues and he projects it onto his guests. And it's Whoa. so funny. And uh, there was one interview with Conan O'Brien and Conan said, I can see you're trying to work out your daddy issues. They don't apply to me. I can't help you do it. Like, my dad. <laughs> but anyway, so he has a show and it's called Marin and it's the story of his life. And, uh, it, they show him like he does the podcast from his garage and all the guests that come on and his weird friendships with people and his ex-wife and yeah. it's really well done but his podcast has progressed like he started way back in the beginning of podcasting and it's progressed now to the point where like Barack Obama has been on his podcast Michelle Obama cool. and at his house in his garage <laughs> So can you imagine Barack <laughs> Obama coming to your garage? Yeah, he, that's going to be my next thing. Barack at the Glam Jewels studio. Yeah. <laughs> he is a Leo. He's a Leo? He, he and I share the same birthday. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh my please. God. That's awesome. So you have the same birthday as Barack Obama yeah. and I have the same birthday as Robert Plant. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they're all they're also like us where they can nap at the drop of a like I could fall asleep standing up. We're like oh, such cats. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then I could sleep fine at night, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, so you could do my job. You could get you two I, could get up at two thirty in the morning. Oh my god. Maybe we need to do a show together in the <laughs> a post COVID. <laughs> I'll pitch something to Dawn. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, Annette, thank you. I won't keep you any longer. You've already given us like 45 minutes of your time. This is so great. So, no, I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. Can, yeah. <laughs> it's like a therapy session. That's right. The e-transfer is covered. You paid for half an hour. Whatever you do, I don't care. <laughs> I love it. That's so funny. <laughs> So, so after these Facebook lives, what I typically do is an Instagram live for like 10 minutes for our okay. Instagram fans. So I know we had tried earlier. Um, so I don't know how it works with Instagram. If you have an older version, maybe it won't work for you. But if you want, let's, we could give it one more shot okay. and see if yeah. I can get you live on there. And then we'll just have a little after party over there with our people. All right. And uh, we'll do that next. You froze up again. You froze up like this. DTV <laughs> plus YouTube. This is huge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get subscribers now because you were on my show. Yay! No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Annette, you're so awesome. I oh, just love you. you. I can't thank wait you. for a hug. I know. Virtual hug. Been too long. Virtual hug. Yes. <laughs> All right. So I will say goodbye to you now, my friend, and uh, we will see you over on Instagram. I'll send you a text when I'm going live. Okay. Good stuff. Okay, girl. Have okay, a great bye. day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. How fun was that? Annette is so wonderful and lovely. And I just see how down to earth she is. She's just the best. So we're going to attempt to do a little after party on Instagram live. We will see how that goes. You might just be looking at me, um, but maybe we'll get Annette on too. I sure hope so. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for all the great comments and um, little shout outs. You guys are awesome.
Love you so much. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.